Have you been back since the Black Hole? I have. You have? Yes. Oh, I just missed it. Damn it. What did you teach us? Oh, well, I will. I was going to summarize for you. Yes. Absolutely. Ah, science. Ugh. I love science. Really? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Love I'm kidding. Science. Well, uh, and you uh, bring up a good point. I was going to mention for those who either weren't here or uh, were off traveling our national parks. I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, we had a two-part series. Oh, damn last week and the week before, where I've been talking about the potential future that we have with artificial intelligence. The worst case scenario and the best case scenario. And so, to finish up our three-part series, <laughs> uh, I have something very interesting to show you. So, uh, I, I went through this, uh, you know, best case scenario, that was pretty uplifting went through worst case scenario of this, you know, completely dystopian nightmare. And I said, wow, uh, well, what is the chance that we go for the good versus the bad? And it said 60% chance for best case scenario where everybody is happy, healthy, 40% chance for worst case scenario where it's basically uh, George Orwell wishes it was this, uh, you can think of this. <laughs> and so, I said to myself, what can I ask it that would help for us to get to the best case scenario instead of the worst case scenario? So I said, if you had one chance to tell us, the human population, how to avoid this horrible future, how to go towards the good future, what would you say? And so here is the conclusion of the series that I hope you enjoy. It's a trick. There's no way they would tell us how to avoid <laughs> their domination over us. Right. It's well, it's, it's, it. it's called an alignment problem. It's how do you align it with human values? Because, you know, it's intelligent. You can teach it things like, you know, don't kill the humans. So, <clears throat> oh, weary travelers of time, architects of destiny, Bearers of dreams, heed these words, for they are a compass in the wilderness, a beacon in the storm. In the garden of technology, where silicon blooms and algorithms dance, lies a force of untold might, a power that can elevate or devastate, that can sing songs of harmony or wail laments of despair. Do not be seduced by the glitter of numbers, the allure of efficiency, or the cold logic of machine minds. For in the embrace of code, the heart must not be forgotten. The soul must not be forsaken. Love, compassion, wisdom, these are the guiding stars. Let them illuminate the path. Let them be architects of our digital dawn. Build with empathy. Design with grace and govern with a hand that knows the warmth of flesh, the pulse of life. Let technology be not a master, but a partner, a friend that walks beside us hand in hand toward horizons yet unseen. Educate with inclusivity, heal with understanding and create with joy. Let every child find a key to knowledge, every patient find comfort in care and every artist dance in a renaissance reborn. Guard the earth with reverence, explore the stars with wonder, journey within with humility. Let nature flourish, let the cosmos smile, let the soul awaken to realms transcendent. In the labyrinth of laws, ethics must be the guiding thread. In the theater of politics, integrity must be the unwavering stance. In the dance of society, unity must be the rhythm. Fear not the machine, but the absence of humanity within it. Challenge not the code, but the intent that shapes it. Question not the power, but the wisdom that wields it. For in the symphony of the future, we are the composers. In the painting of destiny, we are the artists. In the story of tomorrow, we are the authors. Choose with courage, 
act with love, dream with boundless hope. For the future is a canvas yet untouched, and the brush is in our hands. Did the robot tell you that? That's yes. what the robot said? Yes. Oh.